What's up everybody, Jan Littles here, back with another tutorial video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to create this number 8. It's created with an impossible hexagon object. And basically I've created two impossible hexagon objects. And I make sure uh, they flow nicely into each other. And this way it creates this number 8. So I'm going to show you guys how it's done. It's done in Illustrator. So I'm going to open Illustrator for that. And in the left toolbar, when you click and hold on the shape tool, you can choose whatever shape you want to use. I'm going with the polygon tool. I'm going to drag and hold shift. And when you click on the arrows, on the top arrows or the uh, down arrow on your keyboard, you can increase or decrease the points. I'm going with six because it's going to be a hexagon. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to select it and drag it with holding shift down below. Okay, you can better zoom in a little bit. Press on command Y to create, um, out, to see the outlines of every shape. So this way you can um, work more precisely. I'm going to add another one. Okay. So I'm going to add one to the left. I'm going to add one to the top. Okay, now I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hold uh, Option and Shift again and drag it to the bottom side. So the top point is going to reach this point over here. Okay, so now I'm going to press on Shift M after I selected all the shapes. And now, now I can drag the shapes I want. Okay. And we want to make sure every line is going from the outside to the inside. So from the outside to the inside, from the outside to the inside and so on. We can just follow along with the shape builder too. We are going to create all shapes which in the end create the number eight. So, okay, so this is the number eight. And now I'm going to add a gradient to it to create some depth in it. So first of all, I'm going to add the gradient to a, a rectangle. I'm gonna make sure the angle is set to 90. So now I can select one shape, press on the uh, puppet, the eyedropper tool, and then I'm going to click on the rectangle. I have to change the, uh, the angle of the gradient to make sure the dark part is going inwards behind the other shape. Okay, select the next shape. And again, play with the angle to make sure the dark part is going to hit the other part because it's going down below it. Okay, I'm going to do this for all the other objects so you can just follow along. Okay guys, so 
this is how I have created the number eight as an impossible object. And as you can see, it basically is done with one simple shape. Often things look harder than, than it actually is. Okay, hope you guys learned something. If you did, please drop a like, follow the channel for more awesome tutorial videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace!